basically found your way of asking for the appointment. Uh, you don't, um, uh, per se, just just ask it, you know, uh, when can you come in and, and just stop right there. You actually give your options, which I think is great. And as uh, as you remember when, when we trained on site uh, a week ago, uh, I look at it, when you ask for the appointment, there's so many different ways to do it. Uh, and, you know, one of my favorites, you know, obviously, um, are you able to make it in now or later today or something or another aspect of how I would say it is, um, what are you able to make it in this afternoon or this evening? Or, yeah, how soon are you able to come in today? And that, that's the other one. How soon are you able to come in today? My favorite one, um, how close right now can you get here? And, how close, yeah. But re remember how um, each one of them caters to the, depending on the personality that you have on the phone and uh, what kind of situation you have on the phone. Uh, you have somebody giving you a hard time uh, on the phone. You, you went over an objection, uh, and you, you obviously gave the right rebuttal. You answered the right questions, and you pull in to, you know, so when are you able to make it in? Now or later today? And then they start giving you an objection, and then you overcome that objection. And, uh, and then from that point on, you turn around and you say, so are you able to make it in today? Just like that. And I remember I had a phone call I was when I was selling cars. And uh, this customer literally was um, would not commit to anything, and all they wanted was more and more information. And I gave him information, and towards the end of the call, it was like a nine or ten minute call, if I can recall. But towards the end of that phone call, it would be like they would ask me for information, and then I, you know, they would ask me if the car is four wheel drive or if it's two wheel drive, and I would tell them, oh yeah, this car is all wheel drive, and and this I also have uh, this car in different uh, colors. I, uh, and I actually did. And then I turn around and say, so do you think you'd be able to make it in an hour later today? And then they would ignore my question and they would ask me again uh, something else about the car. Uh, you know, some of the features. And I would go over some of the features. And, I, and then from there I would say, so when can you come in? Later today or maybe tomorrow? It seems like today's not working for you. Maybe tomorrow will work for you. And then and then after about, after about three or four shots, I went into how close right now can you get here? And uh, because what happens is now the whole conversation changes, but uh, the psychology of the call is you're basically holding control. And then obviously, um, if after, I, I look at this, way. back then I was selling cars, I wasn't in the BDC, so my focus was I wanted to sell this person a car, uh, let me secure a deposit or, or do whatever, but it didn't, uh, it wouldn't work like that in a BDC scenario. In your scenario, uh, simply handle two or three objections uh, and pass it on to your uh, internet manager because they're the ones with the authority to go further and do everything that they need to do uh, in the situation. But the key thing is there is you want to be able to turn around and have uh, a couple of different scenarios of how you ask a question.